Bananas. You see a variety of cosmetics. There are many different kinds, but you can't tell them apart. It would seem your rocket tires aren't high enough. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a funny that's a funny joke. Sorry. <laughs> but, have you guys like talked about like what you think about the Piantas in like in this game, like d like design wise, character and like all that? Uh, I think I said uh, it earlier. Kind of kind of jerkish to be fair at first. Like the police and judges. Well, I mean, the ones in the airship, if you talk to them, they also say George. Oh, Bell. yeah. Well, yeah, the, yeah. pretty much all the, the, the Piantas that are, like, at the start of the game are jerks. But, like... I mean, they, he, he might have just got there, so... Yeah. They didn't know that there were two Marios? I guess. You know what Yoshi's exactly. are, but they apparently don't recognize the real Mario? I wonder if it was intentional that the whole, like... Um, whole imposter thing um, was like was like so similar to uh, the Sonic Sonic and Shadow thing in SA2. Like, <laughs> I assume it was just a coincidence, but it's kind of funny how that worked. <laughs> it's a high, it's a furbish closet. Hmm. I would suspect you probably will never speak to you again if you open it. Yeah, I really like the Piantas design. Like, it's really, I, I I like how bouncy, bouncy they are, and uh, they're like living palm tree things. I don't know. <laughs> it's a charming design. I said they, they are charming designs, and I wish they'd showed up in they'd show up in more games. Yeah, they showed up uh, in Galaxy 2 for one level though, which is which is kind of nice. I guess it's also appropriate because that stage is like one of the most open-ended in the game. Uh... Some summon bags here. More than some, in fact. I feel sorry for Yukari's wallet. Okay. There's what are you looking at? <laughs> I'm playing Persona for dancing, dancing, dancing Moonlight, and um, when you get high enough in these social bits, um, they let you look into the various characters' rooms. Yeah. <laughs> Cause there's rewards if you can find a hitting card. Mm -hmm. It's a standard refrigerator. What's this? There's a scrap of paper tucked away that reads, "Only one a day." Probably sweets. <laughs> I, I feel like people that people kind of over exaggerate the whole like Piantas being jerks thing because like outside of the the, the intro uh, uh, the the police and all uh, the guys like in the airstrip the a lot of the Piantas are nice guys like they're just asking for help like they're not really sit going like oh oh you're Mario you screwed everything up screw you <laughs> but there's probably some that go. That are like that, but the majority are just like chilling out. Yeah, and there's that one who just got that caught on fire. Yeah. And then there's, uh, I don't know, cause like it feels like. I, I guess I'm gonna have to name drop. Um, it, it feels like people, people like Johnny, just kind of, kind of label the Piantas as like all the same. Like the the fact that they they uh, mistook like the whole like, the whole like Shadow Mario debacle and all that, and just kind of assuming that everyone was just the same. Like I don't know. I just don't like that. You're trying so hard to not say Johnny, weren't you? Well, he was, he's like the main one that comes to mind. People have been making fun of the Piatas for years though. It's yeah, new. that that's true. I made fun of them because I recall, because I oh, cause the cut, the opening cutscenes were always what I remembered about this game. <laughs> so I did kind of associate the Piatas as being assholes, but they're pretty chill, honestly. Yeah, I, I, I love how jolly they are, they're just dancing. I love the little dance they do with the just the hands going. Like, and 
they're marginally more useful than, than the toads in Mars. Before. <laughs> you and, said it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. At least, well, I mean, t some of the toads give you stars, though, at least. Some of the piatas give you blue coins. I suppose. Um... Swim around the water, you can find some coins. Yeah, I know there's one in the prison over here. Oh, crap. I remember trying this for ages during the Seas run. But you can jump in here with the turbo nozzle, but it's super precise. There we go. That took me like 20 tries in the Seas run. <laughs> we might as well get 100 coins at this point. Um. Oh, here's a question. Huh? No, I was just gonna ask. That is a random question. Would you, do you guys, would you guys prefer a game that has a, a specific specific theme that they um, like iterate on throughout the game, or something, or a game that doesn't sp stick to a specific theme and just kind of does whatever for the levels, like ice, fire, and it just kind of goes wild. If that makes sense. On, it, it's a, it, it's really on a case by case basis, and it really depends on what. And if they go for the latter option, it really depends on what level motifs they go for. Because yeah. every game does the whole fire, grass, I. Yeah. Like, mm. Yeah, it depends on how they do the motifs, I guess. Because um. And my opinion might change when I play it again, but I still want to say my favorite Mario game is Galaxy 2. But, um... Yeah, I don't know. It's definitely one of my favorites when I last played it. It's been years since I last played the game, so... Uh, uh, my opinion might be different when I play it again, but I'm not sure. I'll get my pocket in a moment. <laughs> Uh, Mario World doesn't really have aesthetic. It's kind of generic. <laughs> mm. um, I can't really like it's like it's small a pool of level motifs. It kind of does. Oh wait, I know. I remember one of the things I need. Um, I guess one thing I always liked about Mario World that kind of makes me ignore that is the fact that it's um all one big cohesive world, and the fact that you're finding new, like, the secret levels and all that all the time, kind of makes it, uh, kind of just makes it a thrill ride to just find all the levels in and of themselves. And they just, I, the levels, the levels are just really fun, really well crafted in that game. Yep. <laughs> the levels are... The levels are good, it's just, it's yeah. just not much of, there's just not much visual variety, which is why I don't That's really true. Begrudge, the new Super, begrudge the new Super Mario Bros. games, we're just kind of sticking to the Mario 3 aesthetics. It's true, I, f I think the, the main issue I, I have with the new Super Mario Bros. games is the fact that they all, they all kind of just blend together, like, they kind of just look the same, whereas, like, like, Mario, like, Mario 1, 3, and Worlds all look, in, like, di like distinct, and you can tell you, you can tell them apart from each other, whereas, like, there, there's, like, obviously graphical differences between the new, the new series of games, but, but for the most part, they just kind of look identical from what to one another. I look at the background, it's not the... Marvel's 1 has, like, a Mario All-Stars styled aesthetic that I didn't even notice until someone pointed it out on a forum. Wait, what game is this? New Super Mario Bros. 1, kind of like, oh. if you look at the backgrounds, it's pretty reminiscent of Super Mario All-Stars. Hmm. I guess, yeah, kinda, yeah. 
Mario and Wii is the odd one out, because the backgrounds have like a kind of quasi-pre-rendered look to them. Mm. Well as it could have. Yeah. Mario 2 is, um, I guess the middle ground between those, like I kind of, I, I, have, I have not played enough of that game, but, so I can't really pin down its actual aesthetic, and then New Mario U is its own thing, really, the like, HD yeah. coat of paint, and it looks way better as a result. Yeah, it is, uh, I do like Mario U a lot, um, I think, what, I think the mate one of the other things, uh, that makes it, that makes people criticize the new games is that it's, um, it feels like you go to the worlds in the same order every time, or at least, like, it, for the most part, that's what it feels like. Like, mm, I don't know. I remember. I and mean, we definitely switched around the level aesthetic order. Hmm. Actually, I have to... I know that, well, I, I'm pretty sure, I, I know that, like, that. I know the desert world is always pretty much the second world. Okay, what else am I missing? I think we need one. more blue coin. Yep. I'm kind of drawing a blank on where it is. Let's see. We're almost done with this cleanup. Yeah, I, just sa saving these like topics for now, so <laughs> we have something to talk about while doing this garbage. Are we still looking for those coins? Yeah, we, I think we got like one left. Uh, what was your what was your an answer to the whole like tropical setting versus? Um, or well, not tropical saying specifically, but just a game that keeps a, like one theme going consistently, or a game that just goes wild with themes. Uh, I mean, if it's what if it, I don't, I'm not gonna question it. If it's if it's if it's the motif it's going for, I'm not gonna question it. I'm just gonna, you know. Yeah, I get. Well, yeah, I I get that. It takes that to it. Okay, but you. I mean, you... As, long as, I mean, as long as the as long as there's like as long as there is subtle enough subtle differences like like Sierra Beach's sunset, for example. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. But my my question is more so like, would you prefer like one consistent theme or diversity? I guess. They are making you scour this entire area just for a few coins. <laughs> Every coin, rather. Um. Yeah, pretty much. Still missing a blue coin, though. I think. I don't... Um, I'm looking, trying to look through. Uh. So you broke the pillar in the ocean. Uh, and you got... I got these. Gill of Yoshi's juice. Yeah, like Dallas the Pianta who was burning. You got the fruit for the ladies. You got the X graffiti blue coins. You got yep. the bluebirds. You got both of them. I think so. Well, there's one here. Where's the other one? Oh, is it? I just need the ropes. I think. Yeah, I don't see a bluebird here anymore. We need two two regular coins. Can we get this coin without? Okay, I'm not gonna risk that. Well, we've got a hundred coins now, Finally. but we need still need those blue coins. Finally. Oh, it's all the way over there. Yep. And we can't turbo nozzle it because we need we need like um, a massive jump to get there. What about hover? What about rocket nozzle? Yeah, that's what I'm uh, gonna use. I mean, I guess we can also use the boats, but that also means we have to wait for them. So screw that. Um. Oh, can you? Pause it. 
You wouldn't be able to avoid ex uh, being executed if you opened it. <laughs> can you? Okay, so uh, can you make sure there's exact there's a uh, 19 here? It's 19. The last one is at the airstrip. Now okay. Later in the game. So we need. We just need one then. Where is this thing? I honestly don't remember. I bet you're in like the most obvious place and everyone's just slamming their keyboards right now. Check the map. Check the map. Oh, it doesn't work like that. Never mind. Yeah, the, the maps don't really help in this game, which is unfortunate. Wait, if it's through sleeps of a rapier close to her bed? Wait, what? I'm in the room, man, and because she invited me. But, um, but, um, there's a rapier right by the foot of her bed. Just like, how prepared are you, girl? <laughs> I feel like at this point we might have to just boot up a video. Because <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm drawing a complete blank. I, I miss, my talk is doing keeping us going. Because, uh... This is a bit, it looks extremely comfortable. Anyone would love a bed like this. Miss is a rich girl, by the way. Uh, can you build up, like, a blue coin Delfino Plaza video, um, Scrappy, and see if, like, you see- you notice anything we haven't got? Did you get three coins from the manholes? I f I, I- I think I did? The underground, you mean? Yeah. Let me ref let me rephrase that. Have you gotten six blue coins from the manholes? Oh, oh, I I don't think so. I I don't I remember getting quite a lot, but I don't know about six. Guess we'll just check that. Oh, also, don't try not to actually like enter a stage or something when you have a hundred coins, because uh, that's gonna reset it. A ruins filled the base is depicted here with a gentle touch. If this is a mysterious room and all, it could be a famous work. I wish you could actually get to see what the sewers look like. Oh, of course you get to eight. Actually, um, three, three coins was correct. Oh. It's just that two through four are in the, man, are in the sewers, five through seven are... are kind of, like, you have to take the manhole network to get to them, but you don't mm. actually have to be in them. Oh wait, I think I know. I think I might know. I feel like there's a manhole cover, or like a sewer area, uh, to a blue coin. That's like this one specifically. Hopefully, I don't wanna be here all night. Come on. Haven't got these coins before, so that's a good sign. Nice! Okay, we got it. Oh, thank goodness. Alright, now we just gotta get that shine. Oh, we're, we're about to wrap up uh, today, so, um, you got, you guys got any, like, like... Well, since I might not be around here for the rest of this, um... You may, yeah, you may as well do, do your sunshine thoughts. It's a fine, fine game, but I, but I don't go back to it that much. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, 3D Mario in general for me, um, I don't tend, I don't tend to replay these games often. Like, when, when I'm, when I pick these games up, I'm in for the long haul. Yeah. Right. That's fair. Elizabeth, LP, where'd you hide it? <laughs> you got any other words besides that? Um, avocado. That's a word. <laughs> what would you think about flood, the flood gimmick? I like it. It's good for crushing jumps and, and all that. Yeah, it's also very versatile. Our game itself is very versatile. Yeah. A, a soft looking couch. If you sat on it, it'd probably be so comfy you'd never stand up. Must not sit down. <laughs> so we're 61. Uh, we're now... Yes, we are now officially more than halfway done with the shines. Yep. And, uh, yeah, we, we, we're getting there. We got uh, three regular levels to go. And then we're going to get to the end game. So it's not too much. I mean, well, it's weird for this game because 
the it feels like it's short, but like when you actually sit down to like play through the 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 worlds and all that, like you realize like how long it, it actually takes to beat a world in this game. <laughs> And, uh, had it out with a lot. Like you get, there's like ten to eleven shines in each world. That's, that's yeah, a lot. yeah. As a, compared to like um, sixty four, which I think was six to seven. And like seven to eight if you count the hundred coin sh star. Yeah, I I I can't remember if there were five or six regular stars. Yeah, that was like seven for each. That might, I I think that's the DS version. That I played, so okay then. Yeah, because I remember DS has 150 stars. Which is uh, interesting, but um We need uh we need a second remake of Mars 64, just bring all bring in all the content from the DS version. Yeah, and with the with the controls of the original or something. I don't know. That uh, Mario 64 DS HD <laughs> That'll be funny. Uh. Oops. Yeah, I, uh, it, I, I guess we'll just stop. <laughs> so, we'll see you guys next time for Serena Beach, I guess, if that's, like, technically the next level. Da -da -da -da. Actually, uh, it, on your, on the thing you're looking at, does it say, like, what's the, what's supposed to be the next one after Pinner Park? On the card. <laughs> Sierra, I even pronounce it. So, Sierra and Beach. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So we're doing the hotel level next. So um. Tell Mario. <laughs> oh. I'm tired. Okay. I'll see you guys then.